The Roof Builder tool is located in the Architectural Design interface on the Floor and Roofs toolbar, halfway across. So I'll select the Roof Builder. And under my Catalog Instances, I can pick the thickness of the roof that I want to create, and I'll select 4 inches. On the Roof Type, I'm using Slope Roof. I can choose to add the thickness from the bottom or the top of the shape that I've drawn. And it does require the shape that represents the outline of the roof already to be in place. Now if you want to get rid of that shape as you create your roof, then you would select Delete Constructions and the 2D element would be deleted as you create the 3D element. Then you can create the slope by a rise or run, an angle, or a percentage. I'm going to use rise and run and I'll set 6 to 12 as my slope. Then you have the choice whether you want to apply the slope all sides or to individual sides. So we'll check this off and at first we'll apply it to individual sides. So then I would come and select my shape that I've drawn and then I would choose the side of the shape that I want to apply the slope to. So I'm going to select this right side and you'll see the little blue arrow appears. Now if I want this just to be a single one-sided slope roof. I could hit a reset at that point and it would create a roof with a four inch thickness that is only sloped in one direction. Versus I could come and select this shape and then I could say I want to apply the slope to this side and this side and the little blue arrows appear and I would hit a reset to get that slope roof or I could select this shape and apply the slope to this side and this side and hit a reset to get that sloped roof. Versus when I'm dealing with a multi-point shape I can turn on apply slope to all sides select my shape it will add the little blue arrows in every direction and when I hit a reset it will apply that slope in every direction. If I want to modify the rise and the run or the degree, however I set my roof up. I'm going to choose the tool next to the roof builder called Modify Slope of Roof Segments. And then I could come here and change the rise and the run and put in a different number. I'll select 4 to 12. Now I have to pick each side of the roof to change the slope individually. So if I pick this side and then I pick this side, it will change my rise and run from 6 to 12 to 4 to 12. Now what if we have a situation where one roof intersects another roof? If I rotate my roof you can see that the one actually goes through the other. Then we can use the next modification tool called trim one roof to another. So I select the tool and I pick the roof that I want to trim and I select the roof that I want to trim it back to and I accept it and you can see that it trimmed the first roof back to the second roof. And then finally what if we want a roof made up of different materials? Well I could take my original roof and I could copy it. So I'm going to take the slope roof and say I want to copy it up four inches and I want to copy it twice. So that now gives me a roof made of three different sections. And on my change toolbar, I can select apply part and then change each piece of my roof to a different part. For instance, I could say the middle section is going to be shingle slate. Or I could say the other section is going to be tiles aluminum. So whatever I need that to be, I could change it to that family in part so that when you cut your section through your roof, it would represent the materials on the part that you've selected.